yeah hello all welcome back so in the previous mm. session we have yeah. gone through the creation of the condition mm. types for discounts right mm. yeah let me open the yeah. pricing procedure once so here we can able to see what are the discount types we have created so if we go through b slash 08 here we can able to mm. find all the discount types yeah see these are all the discount types right so now cool. let me tell you these yeah. are all the discount types we have placed at the item level okay right now okay. i will let you know the other discount types we can place at the header level okay so okay. mainly we can see two discount types mm. they will be placed at the header level mm. The standard discount mm. types are HB00, and HA00. Mm. Mm. Okay, these two are the okay. other discount types. So I will let you mm. know about them. Mm. So if you take the HP00, HB001, this is the header fixed okay. amount discount type. Header fixed amount okay. discount type. Discount type. Okay. And mm. HA001 is mm. the header percentage discount type. Mm. Okay. So now let me go through them. So what is the transaction to go through the condition types? Mm. B slash 06, right? So here, 06. yeah. Mm. So here if we go through mm. H, B double zero. See, here we can see mm. discount, this one. Okay. And if we go through this, mm. here you can, here you cannot able to find any access sequence. Okay. Because these mm. are the header discount type. Okay. Mm. Okay. So this is the header condition type. Mm. So for the header condition type, so we won't use the mm. access sequence. Okay. You mm. have to keep it in your mind that for the header condition mm. means header conditions, we won't use the access sequence. You may okay, get okay. a question in the interview also for header condition types mm. we won't use what mm. is that access sequence, access sequence. Access sequence. okay mm. okay then mm. now let me go through the another one what is that h a double zero a double zero mm. this one it is the percentage mm. discount mm. okay mm. so now let mm. me Let me go through the price. Yeah, let me go through the sales order. Sales order. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Mm. So, what is our order type? War. So, here, sales organization, distribution channel, and a division. Okay. Mm. And if we give okay. the customer here. Mm and the material here okay see in the material we can able to find mm -hmm. many conditions right so now let me go hb double zero okay what the system is showing it is missing in the pricing procedure right mm -hmm. okay so what we have to do is before okay. we are processing, we have to place each and every condition type in the pricing procedure. So mm. we have to go through the transaction slash zero here. Mm. Mm. Then see here, I would like to place the discount, all the discount condition types between 30 to mm. 79. Be because the bifurcation mm. step starts at uh, 80, right? 
so i would like to place all the discounts mm. in between base price and discounts here okay so now in the step okay. 65 the step number 65 mm. i use h b double zero and in the step 70 mm. i use h a double zero okay mm. so see now you can able to find these okay. two here and this discount has mm. to be get calculate on step number 20 and this is what has to be mm. calculate on step number 20 and see here the discounts are mm. from 30 to 70 onwards so here we have to make this as the two number is mm. 70 okay now i have what is mm. that i have done i have placed the condition types here then what is the next process mm. we have to create the condition the records right condition type mm. condition records okay. because th these are what are the because condition okay. types okay so you mm. have to keep in your mind mm. that for the header condition types okay we won't use any access sequence mm. Okay? okay, so if the access sequence is not there, then we won't create the condition records mm. also. So we won't go for VK level okay. to create the condition record. So mm -hmm. if we okay. want VK level, if we don't use the VK level concept, then how can we create the mm. condition records for them? Actually, okay. these are the manual condition types, which means we have to give the value manually in the sales mm. order itself only. Okay. Now, okay. Let, mm. yeah, now let me tell you how can we do that. Let me go through the transaction mm. VA01. Mm. Here, let me go through that way, 200. And see, here, let me go through the conditions. Here, what we have to give? HA double. Okay, see, now mm. what the system is showing? Okay. The condition HA00 is not allowed as the item condition. What it means? It means the system will allow HA00 as the mm. item condition, sorry, as the header condition only. So, mm. what is the difference between header condition and item condition? If it is the item condition, then it will be applicable to the particular line item. And if it is the mm. header condition, then it will be applicable to the all the line items which are in the sales document. Okay. Mm. So here, okay. Where where can we go for the header? Mm. This is what is the header one, right? So we have to click on header here. Mm. Then we have to go through the conditions. So here, see, already HB double zero and HA double zero. We mm. can see both of these. Mm. Right? Mm. HA00 is there and HB00 okay. is also there. Mm. So, actually, these both has to be processed manually. And see, mm. HB00. Okay? For which I would like to give 100 rupees. Okay? So, now the 100 rupees will get direct from, mm. from the net value. Okay, then which a double zero okay. for which we can give the discount in percentage, discount percentage like that. Mm. Okay, so now let me activate this mm. one. Let me go through the update here. Mm. See now the price is eighty two because here mm. these two got updated. This one as well as this one. Mm. Okay. So here, manual condition types okay. are nothing but we have to place them manually in the sales order. Mm. Okay. Okay. And these two are mm. with zero value. You can remove them. Mm. So now we have to save it. Mm. 
see if you go back to the sales side again in the transaction is 0 to mm. here if you go through the item conditions here mm. you can see it now right yeah, actually it, mm. it is the header condition if you apply at the header level then automatically it will be applicable to all the mm. line items in the sales transaction that's what the header uh, header mm. condition that is header condition that means if you place mm. that in the header then if it will be applicable to all the line items mm. see here the same thing is happening mm. here also because okay. if you add one more item here then that will be applicable mm. that will be applicable to that okay. line item mm. yeah so here you can go through the mm. then here you can able to see that okay so i think you okay. are clear with it actually for this value okay. 100 yes, we cannot able to mm. see any net value because here the condition type mr00 mm. is missing because here the base price is missing mm. so on the base price mm. only the discounts will get calculate all these things right actually we have to maintain mm. the base price for vaccine 100 which we haven't maintained it Mm. Okay, see for, for this we can find the base price, okay. mm. for this one also we can find the base price for Vaxin 150 also. Okay, but for mm. Vaxin 100 okay. we haven't created the MR00 condition there. So if you want to create mm. you can go through the transaction VK11. Mm. And here our condition type is MR00. And here you can use mm. any key combination. And here the material is mm. vaccine 100, for which the price is 250. And if you go back to VA01 here. And see for which now you can able to find the price because we have mm. added the base price. Mm. So I think you are clear mm. with it. And if you have any queries in this, then you can ask me now. So hope you are clear with the discounts concept. Yeah, clear soon. Yeah, okay. Then uh, in the next session, I will let you know if the multiple discounts are getting applied mm. to the customer. See here multiple discounts are getting applied so if it is a business requirement mm. if it is the business requirement to activate mm. only one among them which is the best one or which is the least one so for which mm. we have to make the changes mm. did you get me what exactly my meaning is see here yes, now the customer mm. is eligible mm. for the discount of 25 as well as 37 okay so the customer is eligible mm. for these four discounts so if we can add manually here 10 rupees discount oh it's not a sorry it's not the item condition right so we have to process it from the header only so let me go to the header here let me go to the conditions mm. HP double zero, HA double zero. So this is what is the discount, and this is what is the five percent discount. So let me go through the manual press. So here, if you go here, so now you can able to see the discounts. How many types of discounts are getting applied to this mm. customer? Four, right? This is one discount, this is the second discount, mm. this is the third one, this is the fourth one. So no company would like to provide mm. <laughs> all the discounts to the customer. If the price is 250, 
the company can give only mm. one of these discounts if there are 100 discount types mm. if there are 100 condition types for the discounts which literally means that the company okay. cannot able to give all types of discounts to the customer if you go for mm. purchase of any product mm. then where the over this the salesman will tell you that we have four types of discounts if you use the credit card mm. you will get this much of discount and if you use the cash you will get mm. this much of discount mm. and if you are the member mm. if you are the member of some group then you will get 10% mm. discount like that they will give you some offers right they will let you know mm. what are the discounts available so mm. you can choose one of the mm. one among them but not all of them so here mm. also if all types mm. of discounts are getting applied to the customer then the company will go into losses mm. so the company will so the company will mm. go through only one discount that may be mm. either the best one among all of them or the least one among all of them so if it is mm. a requirement of the company to provide mm. the best discount among mm. all of them to the customer then we being as the consultants has to configure that okay i will let you know that configuration okay, okay. it will yeah i will take a separate session mm. for that but now i think you are clear with these mm. discounts and if you have any queries you can ask me now hope you are yes, clear sir. i think you are not having any queries okay yeah okay then thank you have a nice day no sir bye mm. okay